Hi everyone, it's Hi. Linda and Michelle, and we have our second movie review for you today. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'll let Michelle take it first because I have so much to say about this movie. <gasps> okay, that's good. Um, it Ends With Us was the name of the movie, and it was based on a book by an author who I really like, Colleen Hoover. Um, and I was very psyched to come see this movie because I did enjoy the book a lot. And honestly, I was kind of disappointed in the movie. It just moved a little bit too slow for me. Um, there wasn't a lot of action, um, in my opinion. Uh, the story was, um, I don't know, I, I, I want to, I'm trying to think what the word would be, but it was kind of, um, li liquidated a little bit from what the book was. There was so much more in the book and um and me as as a big reader i often find sometimes if i read the book first i'm not happy with the movie so um that could be part of why i felt the way i did about it so all right okay well i'm not a big reader i don't read much at all i think i have a learning disability <laughs> yeah. when it comes to reading to be very honest and I know I have ADHD, so reading is not something I enjoy. But I do listen to books, Audible. Mm -hmm. And I never, ever, ever listen to fiction. fiction. Uh, it's always autobiographies, biographies, mm -hmm. nonfiction. Um, but for some reason, I was looking for something for a trip I was going on, and this caught my attention because I read it was the story of a neurosurgeon. And I work in a medical school, so it just kind of caught my attention. Well, the book was good. I mean, I really enjoyed the book, so much so that there's a, there's a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, sequel that I read after that or listened to after that. Um, the book wasn't the best book I ever, ever heard or read, but it was certainly enough to interest me to want to do the next one. Well... When I heard Blake Lively, whom I really like as an actress, was playing this part, I was like, no, nah, she doesn't fit it. She's not who I would see in that part. And then Justin Baldoni was going to play Ryle Kincaid. And I'm like, no, those are not that, the two people yeah, I pictured at that was all. The, that was the neuroscience. Plus, they were that's... older than yes, I they, expected them yeah, to be. Yeah, they, they were. And and there's, there's so much of the book that wasn't in the movie. Yeah. Like this whole movie, the whole book was based on this girl's journal, Dear Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. And that they showed her watching Ellen on TV yeah. one it went back, time. It kind of went back and forth between her, her youth and her mm -hmm. family experience. Yes. And then her, the current time and what she was experiencing yes. with her husband. And the actress that played... Blake Lively, who the, that character's name was Lily Bloom. The girl who played Lily Bloom as a child looked almost identical she to did. Blake Lively. She really oh, did. Almost identical. Yeah. Like it, it would have, you really would have believed it yeah. was a young Blake, but it wasn't. But I, but Blake did a great job playing that role. She just yeah. wasn't who I expected. Her flower shop didn't look like I expected it to look. None of that, okay? So oh, that all disappointed me. Then so many parts of the book were left out. Like they moved to this big, beautiful apartment in the book and the whole story unfolded about her and her boyfriend when she was young and how that carried into her adulthood. and. None of that was there. But anyhow, um, the movie did move slow, I thought. Not so slow that it lost my interest at all. I just kept watching it and thinking, it's missing something. Yeah, I, I, I was losing interest a little bit as it was moving along. I, I wanted to pull my phone out and see what time it was. So <laughs> that usually means okay. Well, I wasn't yeah. at that point. No, yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah. I was. I was actually okay, and I could have even stayed if it was longer. I would have been okay, because I really liked the story. Well, I wanted to see it unfold on the yeah. screen. If you ha if you aren't um, 
knowledgeable, if you don't know, have any information about the story, it's about domestic abuse, really, yes, and, yes. and generational abuse, you know, and how yeah. we carry that forward from one generation to another. And it ends with us is the, you know, the title of it, because that is where it ended. Um, but it just, I don't know. I, I was disappointed. Uh, I, I was definitely disappointed. And sometimes I think when you're kind of excited to see something because because I did enjoy the book and I thought it would mm -hmm. be a great story uh, when you see it like I said on the screen and it's missing so much I think that's part of why I was um, I, I couldn't get totally into it mm -hmm. like I would for something else so how would you rate it uh, I, I it's hard. I, went, I was expecting to be able to give this I one know, a nine. I know, and I and I did it. I'm going to say a five. Oh honestly. no, I'm way different than that. Are you? Where are you? Yeah, at? I'm at about a seven. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I would even go a seven point five. Oh, with okay. It. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I enjoyed the movie. Yeah. It just wasn't, I, I wish the characters were younger. I wish it was different um, people playing those characters. Mm -hmm. I yeah. wish that they had developed them more, you know? Like yeah, there was I just think, a not a lot of character I don't development. Think there, I don't think there was either. And I think that was, that was part of it. You really didn't get to know very well what the person, who the person was. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially, I think the um, the husband, Riles, right? Ryle. Ryle. I mean, he was in and out of there, and even the ex boyfriend, when she was a teen. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, he played a good role, but it was a very abbreviated role. Yes, very abbreviated. Yeah, there yeah. was so much more to the yeah. movie. I mean, they left out the parts about Atlas being sick when he got the flu. Yeah, they he, there was just so much left out yeah but, but anyhow that's what we think <laughs> we wanted to get this out just for you if, just in, in case. case it's a movie you're headed to yeah. see because yeah. i do know that there is a lot of interest in this there is a sequel it's called it begins with us and it is the story of lily bloom and um Atlas Corrigan. Right. Yeah. If you watch the movie and want to continue yeah. with where does it go yeah. after this, that's it's our, written our, by Colleen Hoover. We we had another friend with us too and she enjoyed it. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah, because but she, she didn't read the book. I know, and I and I said, Oh, maybe that's the reason, but she liked it. So mm -hmm. You might like it a lot, too. Yeah, I did try to look at it through those eyes, yeah, though, of yeah. not watching it yeah. the, or not see, not reading the book. And it was near impossible to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so that's, that's what we have. The, that's it for this weekend. So have a great we'll week. See, Subscribe right. if you haven't, please. Um, leave us a comment, and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.